Well, welcome back, everybody. Let's go ahead and take a look at the fun and excitement on Wall Street today on a couple different levels, and it ties in perfect with tomorrow morning's class. So as we go ahead and we look first things first, I want to go ahead and remind you, you know, we, we had this area. We bounced right off of the uh, channel. We pushed right back up, which led to those uh, great intraday opportunities that I showed you on some of the key markets in the travel industry. And then now what's happening, though, is we're right back down, retesting that low. Now, don't want to say ding dong the witch is dead yet because of the fact that we did we had the negative divergence but the, you know last time we got down to this level we kind of did what i would call boing right this time we kind of got there and we thudded off of that area because now within two days we're right back testing that level so that's not good you want to really see the boing right you don't want to see the thud so we're going to be watching that very closely going into uh, the next few days and as you know the big thing i'm really watching out for is to we did get two closes down below that channel. Um, and uh, But in the meantime, I want to share uh, some exciting opportunities there and things to think about about uh, GME. So first of all, uh, here into the end of the day, big sell-off here. But w what's nice about this is I don't expect most of you to be able to short. It's going to be uh, very hard uh, for small out retail traders to be able to get the uh, borrow on that at this point. But here's the thing. What I want you to understand is even though you can't short, it's a great way to tell you when not to go ahead and take the long versus when to take the long. Let's take a look at that. So for all of you that are familiar with my ITP indicators, you know, one of the things we look for is throttling. So I like to see the dual momentums at the top. I like to go ahead and see the uh, single uh, red dot, then the double red dot down below. And then I like to go ahead and see the um, uh, dual, you know, uh, triggers uh, down below and see those throttling. Because what that means is after a pullback, we expect the we're going to make at least a lower low. And then if that goes ahead and happens when it's throttling uh, again, then you're expecting after a pullback another lower low. For all of you that are familiar with my work, super powerful stuff. So what this does is when you see throttling, it means, hey, this is not a time where I should be thinking about value buying if this is going to swing back up. Hey, this does this dip. I shouldn't be thinking about doing a value buy expecting this to swing back up because what happens is when you see that throttling, you know that you're expecting a lower low. It's not until you start seeing it make a lower low in price, but not a lower low at the indicator, that then you're actually expecting it to have maybe a more deeper uh, retracement here. Uh, it started doing that, but got halted into the uh, afternoon close. So that's how you can kind of use it when not to go ahead and take the fresh re-entry long. Now, uh, where to do that, though, earlier in the day, if you notice, what happened was we started firing off. There's your single green dot, then the double uh, green dots that I like to show with the ITP indicators. That's what we're looking for. It's kind of a culmination of my life's work. And then we see the, the uh, double momentums, the dual momentums there, and throttling. What does that mean? After a pullback, which can also uh, often be triggered then by like a stochastic on that pullback, after these specific conditions hit, then you're expecting a higher high. And if it does a higher high in price, and it does it with fresh throttling, then after a pullback, you're expecting another higher high, right? So it all went ahead and did very nice. And th those first initial moves this morning came right uh, there in the um, uh, 143.70 area, uh, you know, 143. So we then took off uh, to the upside here, uh, at, you know, way, way up here. And so the, the thing is, um, so if we take a look, this the high of this was 184.50. And going back over here, the, the close of this bar was, like I said, we're on that 143. So you can see, ultimately, it went up roughly $40 uh, to the upside from that move. And so GME on the long side is still a you know uh, a, a trading opportunity for people that can't borrow the shares on the short side that we saw earlier. So GME is in play right now. This is how to look at it from my perspective, using my tools and my life's work. Uh, and then, of course, yeah, I want to give you an update uh, here as it relates to what's happening with 
with the S&P not happy if you're long to go ahead and see uh, it coming right back down here to the channel. So we're going to be watching this area very closely now uh, for the days to come and see if we're going to start getting those you know two bar closes below that channel, which would be the first time uh, in quite some time, and uh, that would not be good. So that's what's happening here. I want to give you guys an update. Also, don't forget tomorrow morning, uh, speaking of GME, the, the guy who identified it first back in December last year at a special class, in fact, the exact same type of special class that he's doing tomorrow morning was the class that he did back in December where he identified GME. And then, of course, I came into the Wealth 365 Summit and then told you about GME the day before it exploded uh, like a monster uh, because uh, Options Hunter identified all that unusual options activity uh, inside of Wealth Charts. So what a great time to be together tomorrow morning at this event. So make sure you're there no matter what you do. Drop what you're doing. Figure out a way to go ahead and get the time away to be there tomorrow morning at uh, 10 o'clock Eastern. We'll kick off with Lori there uh, who will be doing his presentation probably for about 90 minutes or so. And then uh, Ziad will come in and do a presentation for about 90 minutes. But invaluable uh, information there. So go to becomeabettertrader.com forward slash yes. Becomeabettertrader.com forward slash yes. Because you you know we saw what happened with Lori. Uh, anybody that's following him at all just knows how incredible uh, that's been and the information and the, the timeliness of things. So look forward to seeing you at this special event tomorrow morning. Have a great evening. We'll see you there tomorrow morning. Uh, Becomeabettertrader.com forward slash yes. Have a great night, everybody. Bye-bye.